And in this episode, I am starting to do the interior of the port side hole. It was pretty clear from the beginning. I'm gonna vary from the plans a lot on this one. So it took me just about a year of thinking about it, thought I had, to, had it done, and then I just threw it all out the place and did it all over again. So what I came up with now is there will be a guest cabin right up here. This right here will be my bed. This will be my hallway. This will be my entrance. There will be a hatch right here. Coming down and there'll be a pilot table, this bench right there. Closed wall right here. I'm gonna close this thing up and put the shitter, the head, right there with, it, with its own hatch. I used to live in an RV and I have no interest in having the toilet stink up the main cabin. And why I'm putting it all the way back is because somebody told me the wind is always blowing front to back and therefore, if it smells, it should all go out. Plus, I'm putting the compost toilet in, so that should be fairly smell neutral, I heard. So what I still got to do here before the bed goes in today is I got to cut out this right here. So right here, this whole area is gonna be the bed. This is pretty much the widest part of the boat. Roughly six feet and a, an inch or so. And I'm gonna trim this down, give it a nice little curve so the bed can lay pretty much flush on this edge right here, which is the chine string. side this is where my cabin will be I'm gonna have some steps coming down right here and right here it's basically the I don't know what you call it the kind of hallway to the bedroom and I'll have another place right here a nice little round cutout makes it look like a submarine you know those Germans would like submarines oh shit can't put that in there Still have some work to do here before I can close it up. Gotta finish up painting these areas. And also over here. Basically the build needs to be painted, primed and painted, and completed so it can close this up. There'll be a lot of storage. I'm gonna cut a hole down here so there'll be access to this compartment. And then also there'll be a hatch 
to give access to this compartment. All in all, lots of room. This is almost queen size, or probably queen size. This is the view when you're laying in bed. And right here is where the steps and the hatches are. There'll be a table right here on the right side, a little chair right here. I'm gonna close this up and there'll be the head back there. I'm gonna put a compost toilet right here. A little, uh, what do you call a water resi? A sink, <laughs> a sink right here and the shower basically here. I'm gonna fiberglass this whole thing in and uh, yeah, don't ask me too many questions. I'll figure that out along the way. <laughs> Today's an exciting day because I got a forklift coming at five o'clock. I'm gonna to attempt to put the cross beams in and see if they fit or if they're off and what I need to fix and what I don't need to fix. Because the warehouse, I'm not 100% sure if the boat fits in here. It could, it might not. But the first step I have to do is move the holes all the way to the end. I got them on the rollers again right here. So I can still access my bedroom when they're pushed all the way to the side. And yeah. It's always scary moving these because uh, it makes funny noises and it's just scary because I don't feel like getting squished. All right, here we go. I hope I don't feel my own death. See, makes funny sounds. And that's when I wait and reevaluate. So what makes this unnecessarily complicated is I got a drainage right here and I really don't want to drive into it. And of course it's kind of taking aim right forward, but I think I should be fine. So I'm gonna push this end a little bit more over here and see how it looks then. Round two. What I gotta watch out here for is that both cradles move. Cause I'm worried about one cradle moving, one cradle blocking, and then the thing just falling over. That's why I'm taking it slowly. And surely, 